What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the first episode of Magazine Talks. I want to explain it a little bit before I get into the actual magazine. So last Christmas, my mom bought me a yearly magazine subscription to Runner's World. And I've been reading these magazines, and my mom gave me the idea to do a weekly magazine talk where I basically go through the magazine and just talk about new running things and new running ideas and basically stuff like that. So basically, this is the start to my weekly Monday magazine talks. As you can see right here, I labeled the desk Magazine Talks, and then I want to explain this right here. So basically, this is the date and the episode we're on, and basically, this is just how much income these weekly magazine talks have generated. If you guys are familiar with Graham Stevens' podcast, he talks about the revenue that he's generated through each of his podcasts. So I thought that was a cool idea if I did the same thing by just putting it right there. So obviously we haven't done any of these yet, so the income is zero dollars, but hopefully next video, it will change a little bit. So if this sounds like a good idea, make sure to let me know how I did by the end of the video. So basically here it is, episode one of the Runner's Magazine talk. So as you can see right here, the title of this is Run Every Day, and that's a pretty cool philosophy, I think. I only know one person that actually runs every single day. His name is hella good, or that's his YouTube name. But basically, he's ran every single day for the last like three years. I don't even know. He's on a thousand days or something crazy like that. But yeah, I think that's a crazy idea. I've never actually ran a whole year every single day. I even tried to start 2021 by running every single day in January, but that didn't happen as I got sick the fourth day in and I wasn't able to barely even walk. So yeah, that's pretty cool, especially if you can run every single day. It's something pretty cool that not many people can do. But as we open it, the first couple of pages have nothing to do with running, as you can see just a lake and here we get to the first running thing that we're going to talk about is a new shoe it looks like it has a brand new thing called innov arch uh, kind of reminds me of the alpha fives with the carbon fiber plate that they have maybe that's what they're trying to do here as you can see i've never heard of this brand it's called ultra i'm guessing it's a marathon shoe or ultra marathon shoe but yeah it looks pretty cool i love seeing shoes like this being put together uh, most night commercials that you see it has the shoe broken down in like 10 pieces and then they put it together showing you the final product of the shoe so i always think it's pretty cool to see shoes broken down like that and on the next page it talks about a little bit of garmin watches as you can see is there actually a watch i've, I've always wondered this is there a watch that you can actually listen to music on that the watch actually has music come because i know there's a thing called the garmin forerunner 245 music i think but I never knew if that was just a watch that you could connect to your headphones or if that watch actually played music because I think that's an awesome idea. I'm not sure how well it actually sound because your arm's moving up and down the side, so it might be a little weird, but there is a watch that has music, let me know. And speaking of Garmin watches, if you guys have a local Walmart in your area and you're looking for a GPS watch, make sure to go check it out right now because I've been seeing a lot of Garmin watches on sale at my local Walmart. I saw a Garmin Forerunner 35 for only 89 bucks and it normally was 150 bucks, yeah. And I just wanted to let you guys know about the deals before they run out. Now, obviously not every single Walmart has the deal, but maybe some do and you can get lucky. And the next page is what I actually used to use all the time, Energy Plus. I haven't used it for a very long time. I would just take the supplement that basically has a bunch of different vitamins to keep you healthy. And half the time I felt like it worked and then half the time I felt like it didn't work as I would get sick. And the next page looks like it has a shoe that I've actually never talked about. I'm not actually familiar with the shoe, but I've heard it from my friends talking about it. It's basically the Hoka 11109. I'm pretty sure that's what this is, but it's basically a trail shoe. And as you can see from the back, they did something really different that not many shoes have done. I'm not really sure why, but the back goes about three inches farther than what your heel actually goes. I'm not sure if they were trying to copy the new Nike thing that Nike's doing with the points on the back of the shoes something pretty crazy especially for a trail shoot because that's what this is and make sure you guys are jotting down comments if you have any questions or have any concerns about what i'm talking about if you guys just want to talk because i am down to chat with anyone about anything that's pretty much what this whole entire thing is about me getting closer to all of my subscribers and as you can see on the next page is one of my favorite supplements that i've ever taken in my life it is the martin drink mix i've taken the 160 and the 320 not sure the difference i'm pretty sure it's just carbs but these things taste so good to me it's basically thicker water that tastes pretty sweet and every time i have it it just gives me so much energy and i feel really good going into the run one time i did order a whole entire thing of the drink mix and it's a lot cheaper ordering a whole entire thing because you get like 30 of them for like 47 bucks as where if you go into the store you'd only get like one for five bucks so yeah so if you are thinking about getting this i would just go to the store and get one and if you like it I would just start getting them from the actual website. And on this page, it looks like there's a new kind of thigh compression tights that are supposed to be really comfortable with running, as it says, uh, 24 HPA compression for the ankles and then 10 for the thighs. So that's basically how much it compresses your tights. And I'm only talking about tights because I got a new pair of these Gymshark tights that I'm obsessed with. And if you guys have ever had Gymshark tights, then you probably know that they're so comfortable. My favorite part is that I can actually run in them and they're not very stretchy and they're not hard to put on or anything like that. They're just like pretty much sweatpants that are tights. And here we have a Stay Healthy Morning Shake with Immunity Boosters. And I've actually been having a lot of shakes before, not before, after my run, I'm sorry. But basically all I put in them is milk, strawberries, bananas, and any other fruit that I have in the kitchen. It's basically just a fruit smoothie. Not really that healthy as there is a lot of sugars in these smoothies, but at the same time, it's all natural sugars. I think I'm safe to say that none of my smoothies actually are green. I 
can't stand the fact that there's green smoothies. It really just makes me sick. I don't know why. I know they're really healthy and really good for you, and sometimes they even taste really good, but just seeing a green smoothie is not very appealing to me. And the next page, as you can see, it has the Power Beats Pro right here for 250 bucks. And a funny story is I actually started using the Power Beats 3. I think that's what they're called. But basically, this is what they look like. My mom got these for like 20 cents out of the Goodwill bin. So yeah, pretty crazy story. You can check out my old video. I did a review about these. So I put the review in the description below if you wanna check that out. But these are actually great for running. It's basically my first pair of headphones that I've actually ran with. So I'm not really sure how to compare them with other headphones. But so far they've been great for me and this next page looks like they have ryan hall which he's a pretty interesting dude as you see down here it says 2008 and 2012 olympic marathon that's what he was in but basically his story is he has a wife named sarah hall and she just won a huge major marathon I'm not really sure which one it was i think she won it maybe she got like top two but it was such a big deal but he right now is actually a bodybuilder he went from a skinny little runner to a huge bodybuilder which is a pretty crazy story on his transformation but i remember a long time ago i was watching one of his workouts it was an indoor workout on a treadmill and he actually got up so high that the treadmill actually just shut off and broke right there it was pretty crazy because he was going like maybe 14 miles per hour in the treadmill and it just shut off and ruin his, they didn't ruin his workout because he got on the next treadmill. It was pretty crazy because he was going so fast that the treadmill could not keep up with him. And this next page talks about Molly Seidel. I'm not really sure uh, too many things about her. I know she's a marathon runner. She was in the 2020 Olympic marathon trials and I'm not really sure anything else. It talks about her stress fractures, I guess, but I'm looking down here in the Hypervol. If you guys have tried any of these massage guns, let me know what you feel about them. I feel like they are pretty good. My friend actually bought six of them off of this Chinese website for about 40 bucks each and those things were amazing. They weren't the Hypervolt, but they basically did the exact same thing and then over here it talks about an anti-gravity treadmill if you guys ever have the opportunity to run on a zero gravity treadmill i would take it because it's an awesome experience it's basically like you're running on the moon now there are a lot of different types of these zero gravity treadmills these are probably the most expensive actually they're probably not the most expensive the most expensive ones are the water treadmills probably my grandma has one at her hospital this one is what most colleges have. They're the air ones. Basically, it fills you up in a big air bubble and it lifts you up. And then there's a cheaper alternative that you can use. It's basically just bungee cords that you set on a normal treadmill and it basically helps you pick up, you strap it around your waist and it picks you up a little bit. So if you do get the opportunity to run on any of these treadmills, I would definitely take it as they are pretty rare. And this next page talks about different nutritions you can take before or during running. And I wanna go through and talk about each of these that I've actually taken. So noons, I've taken these. You can have ones that give you energy. You can have ones that make you sleep and you can have ones that give you electrolytes my girlfriend really likes these and i used to really like these but they actually started hurting my stomach and i stopped taking them and my stomach got better so i really no longer take these anymore the martin drink mix i love this i've taken this a lot as i've talked about i've taken some goos i really don't like goos that much the consistency of them makes me feel a little weird and then these cliff block shoes uh, a funny story is a person who actually went to my old high school he helped with a ultra running marathon and they actually gave him boxes and boxes full of these cliff block energy shoes and we had so many of them at high school that basically every single workout we would take one and not only did they taste good but they actually did give you energy the only thing about these is i would probably recommend having a drink after them as they could get stuck in your throat a little bit and you don't want to go your whole entire run with them getting stuck in your throat and the last thing i'm just going to talk about for a second is a bunch of different shoes this is the last interesting thing in this whole entire book but basically we have five different types of shoes we have the hoka mach threes we have the mizuno wave horizon fours we have the ultra provision fours the sketchers go run seven the sakani kevara elevens and basically the only shoe i've actually heard of is the sketchers go run I'm not sure i heard of the seventh version but the only reason i've heard of these is because uh, edward cheswick is actually sponsored by sketchers one of the fastest runners sponsored by sketchers i know a couple other runners but i don't really know any other runners sponsored by hoka uh, besides zach levitt of course he actually got sponsored because he's such a big name on youtube so hopefully he can keep up his running and set some more goals for the future so yeah that is the end of our magazine talk for week one i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any comments make sure to go comment down below and i will answer to every single comment if you guys enjoyed this make sure to let me know so i can keep this coming in the future i will see you guys next time stay safe and stay blessed see you next time